Hi, how you doing? This is Chris over at 3D Palace. Hello. Okay, so this is going to be part one of a new tutorial set. I'm um, just going to give you a quick rundown of what I'm going to be doing, and that way if you're like one of the new millennial Facebook generation and you think it's too hard, you can just skip it and go do something else. Um, the way this is set up is different to all the old VTS that we used to do, you know, video tutorial sets. Um, in this one, what we're going to be doing is each part is going to have a video, there's going to be some gallery showing pictures about it, a blog where I kind of talk about what it was I was doing. I'll release an executable so that you can actually have a crack on playing it. Um, we'll do a little community event where you guys can put in your own entries and see what you think. Um, I'll also do a thing where I talk about what's next and there'll be some useful links for any other references. So basically each part now will have a collection of subsets, okay? It's not difficult to work out. The one thing I'll say is that tutorials have evolved and changed in so many ways over the years because people who watch them have evolved and changed, okay? So I can't just offer a list of tutorials and go here, here's one, two, three, four, five, you now know how to do something because people don't have the concentration for that. They want more, they want pictures, they want all that kind of good stuff. They don't just want to be kind of seeing, um, you know, this, you know, oh, the other one doesn't make something. Will you be quiet, cat? So, you're not helping, you know that. She really isn't. So anyway, I'm going to get on with doing part one now. Um, for your information, part one, I'm going to be making the basic corridors and rooms that we need. It's just an outline, okay? Very, very simple. With those, then we'll be able to kind of start theming it and making it do stuff. So it's very, very simple. There's going to be a player start area. The player is going to have kind of a corridor to walk down. And then when they get to the other end of the corridor, there's going to be another room that they can go into. And that's it. Okay? So I look forward to seeing any comments or pictures or screenshots or whatever you come up with. And I will see you in part two as well.